Hello, Wastelanders. It is I, Big Papa J. I'm sitting here in my office, and I've been contemplating how do I want to proceed further. Let me explain. I have, in my data inventory, I have, where, well, where can my baby be? And if I do this and go straight to Kellogg's apartment, I bypass Nick Valentine. And I can spare Kellogg by going straight to Fort Hagen, confronting him, not killing him, and sparing him, making him a companion, which bypasses Virgil. But that's a lot of gameplay that I really enjoy doing. I love going to the Glowing Sea because I have a run-in with um, the Atoms. And there's actually magazines and stuff that you can collect in the Glowing Sea. There's also a magazine or is it a magazine? A bobblehead. There's stuff that I can collect if I go and rescue Nick Valentine. There's stuff I can collect in that. And do I really want to give up all that stuff just so I can fast forward through the game a little bit? Unlike some YouTubers, I actually, me personally, I enjoy vanilla. Some YouTubers don't. I see it oh, oh, way too often. Open for business. I see it way too often where a lot of um, YouTubers, they skip vanilla, especially when they're doing a mod. They don't want to do anything vanilla related. They just want to jump straight into the mod and do the mod stuff. I, I get it. They're in it for the clicks. They're in it for the clicks and stuff of that nature. They're not in it for the actual gameplay. They just want to get through it as fast as they can so they can move on to the next biggest and greatest thing. They do a mod, showcase it, run through all the quests as fast as they can. Snap, 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 so they can get on to the next mod. Snap, 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 snap. Me, personally, what in the hell is the fun in that? I'm just being honest here. There's no fun in that. That's why I don't like fast travel. There's no fun in fast traveling. Now, I am compromising. What the hell? I am trying to compromise and do um, fast travel as well. Just to kind of speed things up a little bit. That zombie attack or whatever just caused us to bypass Spy Piper's whole speech. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatening to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Hmm. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Hmm. Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. Uh, another see no evil type. You'll fit in just fine with all the inept guards. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Not really your business. Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Mmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in. Hey, something. Okay, bloody zombies. Always interrupting everything I'm trying to do. 
<laughs> Every time I turn around, they're bloody interrupting everything. Okay, um... It says go talk to Piper. I think I am. I've been, de I've been contemplating, do I want to go straight to Kellogg? Or do I want to deal with Piper and Nick Valentine? I think I do. Not necessarily make them companions, but I do think I want to... I think I, I I do think I want to um deal with them. Hello, Pastor. Pastor. Favorite flip song, quite a show, huh? Uh, quite a show. Quite a show. Hate it when they bring up the institute. Ain't like folks aren't already scared of them. Anyway, don't let it get to you. Life here is still a hell of a lot safer than out there in the Commonwealth. With everything I've been through, nothing scares me. That right. Huh. So what brings you to the great green jewel? Keeping my reasons to myself. Didn't mean to pry. You have a good one. Piper, you're back. Hi, little girl. You remind me of somebody else I know. Some girl named Stella. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? Okay. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Really? Thanks. Thanks. I guess. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah, I've heard that before. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? Mind your own business. Fine. Sorry for asking. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, I'm having fun playing a sarcastic evil Batman. Mind your own business. I'm having fun. I am. Okay, let's go talk to Miss Piper. Piper. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Lou? My favorite ballpark's become a shanty town. Today's been great. Interesting you mentioning that, seeing as you're from a vault. Yeah. You're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and that fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Um, I'm solo. I don't run around with partners. Not if I can help it. But tell me, what's involved in this here interview? What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Okay. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? <laughs> a thousand guinea pigs that turn carnivores. <laughs> oh, that's funny. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Behold, I am immortal. You know, I guess you kind of are, aren't you? Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? 
Why do you care? This is news. No one else in Diamond City may care about the missing, but my paper does. You heard wrong. I'm not looking for anyone. Don't lie to me, Blue. This is your story. Don't you want people to know the truth? I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? Boy, she's consistent. My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. A man took Sean, not some shadowy group. I hope that's true. Because if they are involved, everything gets worse. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Oh, that's easy. Kill them all. Let God sort them out. Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before. Didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Nick Valentine? So you think this Nick Valentine can find Sean? Yeah. People don't like talking about him. I'm part of the whole head in the sand mindset Diamond City is famous for. But when you're down on your luck, no one else is gonna give you a hand. He's always there. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Oh, why? Now, I actually... Most folks are just looking for a hand. I want to send her to my office. Which is what I'd like to do with all my companions. It's the whole reason why I set up a base of operations. Hey. Where to? Talk to me. It's time we called it quits. Sure thing. I'll head home. Gun for hire. That's where you'll head. Okay. Very good. Okay, so we need to go talk to this Nick Valentine. Get the ball rolling on that. Um, so let's do that. Let's go. Let's go there next. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his. Like I said, I could go straight up to Kellogg's office and bypass Nick Valentine, but I want to. I want to talk to Nick. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have I mean, enemies, right? What is what? it? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah. Also, coming by here enables me to do the railroad which I I want to do all the fractions even though I will probably end up blowing every single one of them up wouldn't last forever by time it's all said and done but we'll go from there his ties excellent another magazine that's also a the bills. Huh. Yeah, right there Forget that. the mysterious stranger That's one of the perks that you can get. Mysterious Stranger. Uh, 
bills. The photograph. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but... He just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school at Thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. Interesting. I got to do some dealings in Good Neighbor. You ever heard of a guy named Murphy? No, that's okay. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please hurry. Oh, righty. Okay, so. I am going to go ahead and find Nick. Just because, like I said, there's certain things that I want to do in the game that are vanilla. I'm not scared of vanilla. Some YouTubers might be. Big Papa J is not. I actually enjoy vanilla. There's a lot of good stuff content. That bridge across the river? Super mutants use it as an ambush point. Interesting. There's a lot of good content in the vanilla game. So I'm... I like doing it. I'm not scared of it. Let's go to tab. Go to data. Unlikely bound kind. And let's jump down to... Here we go. There's also another magazine down here I want to pick up. And there's some there's some stuff inside of the vault for Nick Valentine that I want to pick up. I'm collecting everything I can possibly get my bloody hands on. Add them to my collection. So yes, we are going to go ahead and do Nick Valentine and not skip him. Just because I have the option to skip doesn't mean you should skip. You, 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 you following my drift? Are you feeling me, baby? Are you feeling me? Just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> Again. Not calling out any YouTubers, but there's one particular YouTube who I love. I absolutely love his content. I watch it all the time. But one of the pet peeves I have is he skips every bloody thing. This is vanilla. I don't want to do vanilla. I want to do the mod. Oh, that just gets on my bloody nerves. Skip. Quit. Just quit skipping every fucking thing. <laughs> Pardon my English. Stop. <laughs> I'm telling you. I was looking to see if that zombie, there was a zombie that, that walked right up on me, but he didn't follow me in. I was looking to see if he followed me in. Snooping around him. What does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. I'm here for you too, sucker. <laughs> Did it smart? Did it feel? Oh bloody hell! Who's shooting at me? Malone's gonna have your guts for 
disappear and act ain't fooling me. Nothing up in the... I can't... I can never remember if there's anything in the toilet. I can never remember. I always come up in here, but I... I because I can never remember if there's something in the... There's something in that. I know there's a, I know there's a bomb over here. I remember that much. Yeah, right there. But I can never remember if there's something up in there, other than the bomb. I love them knuckles. Like I said, they look kind of like a bat. They look like a bat and they resemble a bat. I like them. I like my knuckles. Oh, buddy. Time to go down deeper into the rabbit hole. Going deeper into the hole. from wouldn't you like to know Grab that guy too. Four. <laughs> These guys are kind, kind, kind of weak. I'm not getting to do my kung fu. They're a little bit too weak. Uh, where are you going? Get back over here. We're not done. I'm not done with you yet. Somebody. Where'd he go? Which one of you lost him, huh? Wow. Talk about a knee to the face or the gut or whatever. It was a knee to something. Wow, that was a fierce, that was a fierce hit. A knee to the, I'm assuming it was the face. It was a knee to something. Okay. Ooh, I picked up some radiation. Picking up a little bit of radiation. I got a level up too, don't I? I think I do. I think I need to check my level up points. I might do that on the next episode. I don't want to waste time doing it on this one, but I might do it on the next episode. I need to check my level up points. You know what? I'm going to do a bat gun here. One, two, daddy's coming. No, I don't want, I want the head, not the arm, the head. Good night. Turn out the lights, the party's over. Oh, whitey, okay. 
Let's get ready to go up into the vault. Now we are closing in on the 25 minute mark. I think what I want to do is actually I want to go ahead and stop it right here. And when we return, we will open the vault and go on down in and see if we can rescue Mr. Valentine. But I think I want to pause and stop it right here. It is 5 o'clock in real time and it's time for my dinner. So I'm going to go downstairs and eat. Enjoy some dinner. Maybe watch some movie. I don't know. If I don't watch the movie, then I'll come back up and we will go into the vault and see if we can find Mr. Nick. Anywho, this is Big Papa J. Hoping you're enjoying the content. If you are, smack that like button. Let YouTube know that somebody likes it. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I release videos daily. And with that being said, this is Big Papa J. Saying I hope you have a good day or night depending on what it is where you are. I'm Batman. And I'm out of here.